CSL Podcast. So strategic, baby. And today we're talking about the number one pick, Victor Wimbayama, and comparing him up with Scoot Henderson, the number three pick that went to the Portland Trail Blazers. So me and my son were talking, and um, we both come to the conclusion that we think that Scoot would have probably went number one if it wasn't for Victor Wimbayama. I know Brandon Miller went number two to the Charlotte team, but um, I think that Scoot will have a better career than Brandon. That's what I think. Brandon came out of Alabama, a great prospect too. But I think, um, you know what? Let me let my son, Little Happy, go ahead and tell you what he thinks about Scoot. Here he goes. So here guys, I'm here with Heavy Hook. Today I'm gonna be talking about how I think Scoot Henderson is better than um, Victor Wembanyama. He's going to be better than him later on in the NBA. I think this because um, Scoot Henderson is like more strong and not like as tall and skinnier as Victor Wembanyama. So I really think he would do better in the um, in the NBA like years from now than. Victor. What I mean when I'm talking about Scoot Henderson's strengths and ability, I mean, like, he's way faster with the ball than Victor Wimbiana because Victor Wimbiana is, like, it's more tall, so that means, like, your speed is not going to be as much as, like, a 6'3 guard. So, and, like, Scoot Henderson's just really strong. He gets in the gym a lot and processes more, like, strength in his body. And that's really all I got to say about Scoot Henderson and Victor Wimbiana. Wow. Thanks, Little Heavy. I appreciate your analysis of Scoot Henderson's game, and I got to agree. Scoot is strong, 6'2", almost 6'3", great handle, can get to the hole, can finish around the rim in traffic against bigger players, can take contact and still score, can beat his man with the ball in his hand anytime that he wants. Uh, Great court vision. Um, I really think that he's going to do well in this NBA. And um, But back to Brandon Miller, too. I think he's going to do great, too. I just like Scoot's game better. I think the ball in Scoot's hands will be safer than in the hands of Brandon. I think that Scoot has a, probably a tighter handle. We'll probably end up with, with less turnovers and more assists. But we will see. I could be wrong because I like both of these players, Brandon and Scoot. But I think Scoot's game translates very well to the NBA. And we're going to see him do some great things already in the preseason. He's looking great. Very balanced on his pull-up jumpers, on his toes. Great form and follow through. I'm loving it. Great court vision. Seems to be very unselfish. Can still get to the rack. Can still finish like he did. Um, before he got to the NBA. So, Victor, um, his third game did okay, but those first two were spectacular. And I think with all of these players, we're going to see some ups and downs. But I think Scoot overall will probably end up having a better career than Victor and Brandon. But I could be wrong. That's just my thoughts right now. As the season progressive progresses, <laughs> we will see what happens. But all three of these players, Victor, Brandon, and Scoot are great players. And I can't wait to see them perform once the regular season starts. So, again, this is CSL Podcast. Please subscribe, like, share. Hope you like the material. I'm out.